show you how to make um, cabbage with fish. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make fried cabbage with fish. And what I have into my plate here, I have 12 filet butter fish that I went ahead and seasoned in with my green seasoning, some garlic powder, onion powder, um, some vegetable bouillon, and some black pepper that I season in my fish here with. And I do have a video with my green seasoning that you could go ahead and check out. And I will also link it to this video to show you how to make my green seasoning. I also have some um, flour in my plate here that I'm going to be kneading for flouring my fish. And I am not seasoning my flour because my fish is fully seasoning. So I'm not going to be seasoning my flour right now. So the first thing I am going to do, and I do have other ingredients that I'm going to bring later into the video for my cabbage and fish um, dish. So right now, what we're going to do first, we're going to go ahead and start frying our fish first. And then I will show you later into the video how to make the cabbage with the fish. Into my pot over here, I have about half a cup of oil that's heating up nicely there into my pan so I'm going to wait for that to fully heat it and then we'll go ahead and start frying the fish in the meantime I am waiting for the oil to heat up let's go ahead and start flouring our fish which is a very easy process and you could do this several different ways um, you could take your fish with your flour put it into a ziplock bag shake it up and you will have your fish floured like that. But what I'm going to do today, I'm just going to go ahead and start flouring my fish one at a time. So into my plate over here, I have my fish and I have my flour here. So let's go ahead and start flouring our fish. So what you're going to do, you're going to take one of your fish and you're going to put it into the flour and you're going to nicely flour the fish like that. And you're going to dust out all of the excess flour and lay it into your plate over there. So I'm going to go ahead and flour all my fishes here. And these are nice fillet butter fish. And you can use any type of fish for this dish. It doesn't have to be butter fish. Whatever fish you have on hand, you can go ahead and use. Today I'm using butter fish because that's what I have. And this is what I'm using, but you could use, feel free to use any type of fish that you have on hands. So all I'm doing right now is flouring my fish, shake out the excess flour while I'm waiting on my oil to heat up nicely there. And this is a very simple, simple dish that takes no time at all cabbage cook very fast. The only hard thing about this dish is to get your fish all fried up nicely here. After your fish is completely fried, it will take less than 10 minutes to cook your cabbage and your fish. So this is the hardest part of this dish right now is to get your fish fried up. So I am continuing to flour my fish here nicely. And then I'll go ahead and I will show you how to start frying that. Please go ahead and check my green seasoning out on my channel. It's a very delicious green seasoning. It's very easy to make and it could be used to cook any type of dishes. Except for any cream sauce. You don't want to use your green seasoning on any type of Alfredo or any cream sauce. but you could use it in any other type of dishes you like and it's a very good seasoning for your meat or your fish okay so my see my fish is fully floured there so I'll start showing you now how to go ahead and fry that so bear with me Okay, so my oil is nice and hot. Let's go ahead and start frying our fish.
Okay, I'm gonna let that fry. I'm done on one side and then I'll go ahead and I'll flip it on the other side. So it's a fry nice and golden brown. Okay, I'm gonna let that continue to fry. Okay, let's go ahead and check in our fish here. And this is ready to turn, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this a nice turn. Nice and golden brown. And be very gentle because you don't want your fish to break. I'm gonna turn my fish nice there. And I am going to bring my camera in so you can see what that looks like. Look at that. Nice golden brown butterfish. So I am going to let this side continue to fry. And then I will go ahead and start frying the other side, the other sets of fish. And then I will come back and show you how to start making the cabbage with the fish. So right now I'm going to let this side fry for about a two minutes, two to three minutes. I'll take it out, I'll add the second set of fish to my pan. After that is completely finished, we'll go ahead and start with our cabbage. Okay, let's go ahead and check on our fish. And this is nice and golden brown here. So we're going to start removing our fish and laying it on your plate here so you can drain the excess oil. And this is what my fish looks like. So let's go ahead and add the last set of the fish here. And I am going to let this continue to fry and then we'll go ahead and show you the second part of the day. So our fish is completely fried up nicely. So now let's go ahead and start the cabbage stir fry with the fish. So into my bowl here, I have one small cabbage that I went ahead and coarsely chopped up here. I washed and chopped up. And this is my fried butter fish that I went ahead and I chopped up into pieces here, large pieces, and also into my plate here I have bell pepper, four different color bell pepper, green, yellow, orange, and red. Um, these are not whole bell pepper, these are half of each color bell pepper, okay? So I chopped up there. I also have two large carrots that I went ahead and julienne here, and into my dish over here I have one large onion, six cloves of garlic thinly sliced and a couple of chili peppers there and into my dish over here I have one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of vegetable bouillon and one teaspoon of black pepper. This is what I'm going to be using for my fish stir fry here with my cabbage and vegetable. Over into my pot over here I have my oil that is nicely heating up, so I'm waiting for this to get so nicely heated up there. And also I will be using some of my organic soy sauce for this dish. And a little bit of sesame oil, not a lot, about half a teaspoon of sesame oil.
So my oil is heating up nicely there. Let's go ahead and start adding our onion, garlic. And get this a nice sauce here. And you want to cook this on nice high heat. When you're stir frying, you want to use high heat, not medium heat. So I'm going to let this saute for about a minute or two. So you can marinate a little into the oil. Okay, I am going to go ahead and add my carrots. And my vegetable, my seasoning. Let's give this a nice sauce. And the reason I added the carrots first, because the carrots take about a minute longer to cook than the other vegetables. That's the only reason I'm adding the carrots first. I'm going to let this saute for about a minute or two. Okay, let's give this a nice sauce. This is saute now for about a minute. Let me slice this one up. Okay, you want to give this a nice sauce. You don't want to overcook your vegetable. Okay, let's go ahead and add our peppers. And give this a nice sauce here. I'm gonna let our pepper cook for about a minute or two. To that, let's go ahead and add half a teaspoon of sesame oil. And one teaspoon of soy sauce, not a lot. Give this a nice sauce here. This is cooking up so nicely here. I'm going to give this another minute before I add my other ingredients. Okay, I'm going to give this a nice sauce here. This looks so good already. Okay, now let's go ahead and add our cabbage. And the cabbage only going to take about two minutes. You don't want to mush your cabbage, you just want it to sauce up here nicely. This is cooking up so nicely here. Okay, after about a minute or so, we're going to add your fish. Okay, right now we're going to go ahead and add our fish. And let's give this a nice sauce.
after about a minute or so you're gonna go ahead and turn your stove off and there you have it your fish and cabbage stir fry I am going to go turn my stove off I am going to go ahead plate this for you and let you see what it looks like so bear with me and there you have it guys a nice delicious stir fry cabbage with fish and peppers there you have it I am going to bring the camera closer I'm going to bring it closer to the camera so you can see what that looks like look at that a nice delicious stir fry fish with cabbage peppers and carrots look at that look at that deliciousness how can you go wrong? Look at that. Look how delicious that look. Simple and easy stir fry fish with cabbage, peppers, and carrots. There you have it guys. I hope you like this video. If you do, kindly give it a thumbs up. On the right hand corner of the screen there is a notification bell. Kindly go ahead and click on that so you will not miss out on any of my video. Today I bring you a delicious fish stir fry with cabbage, carrots and peppers. Look at that. Look at that. Thank you for watching guys. I will see you in my next video.